somebody call the doctor because bad medicine is back we've got the answer we've got the appleton oak over here i'm mason quinn guys tonight you guys wanted us to run through harry potter so here we go this is the third one in the series the prisoner of azkaban from 2004. boom so hey i'm ready willing and able to watch this next one i can't wait i want to see ron weasley crack someone upside the head again and give him a concussion. did you just say did he say ready willing and able yes i well, love an adult statement for a kid's movie yeah i'm Ugh. just kind of waiting for uh the movies to kind of start to make the change to where it gets a little bit more mature a little yeah. bit darker we are kind of already saw a little bit of that in the second one it was got pretty dark in some spots so We'll see how this one goes and keep the story going. You and me both. Uh, you know, <laughs> I gave both the first two movies decent ratings yes. because I see the value in the movies. I do. Good stories, good overall lessons about morality, doing the right thing in the face of adversity. But holy hell, I just can't. I just couldn't get into these first two movies. <laughs> like the most I got into it is when stuff was like, like when Andrew mentioned, like, did he just hit it with a brick? Like, yeah. like, like, it's, like it's one thing to like with your wand, he stuck a brick. A brick you know? What do I do now? Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, like Quinn said, we've heard that the movies step up as far as. Um, as far as the intensity and maybe the age range that they're geared towards as the fans were getting older, but it's still 2004, man. Yeah. 2004, what was I doing in 2004? Probably wasn't watching Harry Potter in the theater. No. But um, you know what? We I'll are now. You. And, we're, you know, for better or worse or otherwise, yep. we're excited. Well, and like, like <laughs> I've always said with these, these movies have made, like, billions of dollars, so there's got to be, you it's know, something in there something. somewhere. It's got to be something to it, so... All right, well, hey, he's not here. Let's go! What is it? Nothing. School stuff. Wow, Harry's really growing up a little bit, huh? You're still here, are you? Oof. Yes, in that ungrateful way. He'd have been straight into an orphanage if he'd been dumped on my doorstep. Wow, right in front of him. I want to try a little drop of brandy. A little <laughs> drop of brandy, brandy when you went. Just <laughs> let the dog slurp it up. <laughs> Where did you send the boy, Venom? St. Brutus's. It's a fine institution for hopeless cases. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've, I've been beaten loads of <laughs> What is it the boy's father did for Junior? Nothing. I mean, look at Harry. He's genuinely he sad. When is he going to, like, snap no on these That's fools? a lie. Yeah. My dad wasn't a drunk. Oh! Oh, easy, easy, it? easy. I think it's time you went to bed. Yeah, be quiet, Vernon. You clean it up. Well, I suppose, you know, Harry's a teenager now, so he's yeah. going to start to be like, all right, I've had enough of this. If there's something wrong with the bitch, oh. Oh, shut up! Shut up! There you go. Give it to him, Harry. Oh, my oh. God. What's happening here? Oh, is, uh... oh, is she going to explode? All right, Harry. Look at, Back off look at a little. <laughs> all right. Is she going to start floating? I was oh. wondering if she going to start floating. <laughs> no, not Dudley's food. Oh, got him again. <laughs> These are the best parts. <laughs> oh, no, oh, she's going to no, float no, away. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, she's floating up to the... <laughs> Dudley don't give to... <laughs> Let the hate flow. Let the hate flow through you. She deserves what she got. Ah! Keep away from me. You've nowhere to go. I don't care. Anywhere's better than here. So she's, she's just floating. floating. Oh, totally. She's just floating around somewhere. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> what? A little shadow double decker? What you fell over for? I <laughs> do it on purpose. <laughs> well, come on, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's a full chandelier. 
Yeah, take it away, Ernie. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Well, we're about to you ready. Faniki Cauldron. That's in London. Hey, if you have the pea soup, make sure you eat it before it eats you. I'm not sure if I totally trust these guys. Who is that? That man. That is Sirius Black, that is. Don't tell me you've never been hearing a Sirius Black. He's a murderer. How did he escape? Oh. Well, that's the question, isn't it? It was a big subaltern. You know who. Him I've heard of. Mind your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. Potter. At last. That guy's not oh, creepy who's... at all. Yeah, who's that actor there? want him to look like he's in all the old horror movies hills have eyes yeah, like yeah. that guy yeah. yeah i forget his name right smart bird you got all right mr. Potter. the minister for magic it is my duty to inform you mr potter that earlier this evening your uncle's sister was located we'll have no recollection of the incident i broke the law Underage wizards aren't allowed to use magic at home. The ministry doesn't send people to Azkaban for blowing up their aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, Harry, whilst you're here, it would be best if you didn't uh, wander. So he's going to wander, right? Oh. Well, why would you open that? Klaatu Varatai Nektu. Something like that. Be careful there, Potter. Yeah. He thought the... He thought the Necronomicon was bad from Army of Darkness. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Cats, Ronald, what do you expect? Is that what they told you? Looks more like a pig. What are they doing here? That's yeah. rich coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. Harry! Uh, Mrs. Weasley. Oh, just oh, dear. Good to see you too. Hey, it's Mrs. Yeah, Weasley. Back. Yes, all of your books. Yeah, it's all upstairs. And all of your clothes. Everything's there. Harry, wonder if I might have a word. Yeah, sure. You are in danger. I've heard of that before. Nothing to do with Sirius Blacks. What do you know about Sirius Black, Harry? Only that he's escaped from Azkaban. You are the only thing that stands in the way of you know who returning to power. Harry, I want you to swear to me you won't go looking for Black. Why would I go looking for someone who wants to kill me? Cause you have a good knack for that. Yeah. I didn't mean to blow her up, I just... I lost control. Honestly, Ron, it's not funny. Harry was lucky not to be expelled. I think I was lucky not to be arrested, actually. You know what's weird about watching these movies like we are? It's like, if you watch these in real time as, as they came out, you're expecting them to get older because there's these big gaps. Yeah. Where for us, it's just like, <laughs> we watch another Potter movie, and wow, everybody's aged another two years. Yeah, especially when they started off as younger kids. Yeah. They're going to change so quick. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. I mean, everyone's looking for him. Except no one's ever broken out of Azkaban before, and he's a murderous, raving lunatic. Thanks, Ron. He can't be there yet. I don't like this. I don't like this God. one bit. Oh, not a good place to stop. Yeah, right in the middle of a bridge. Oh, that looks like death. Oh, is he sucking Harry's soul? What is going on here? Somebody do something. <clears throat> oh, I wonder if that was his mom screaming, maybe. It's all right, it's chocolate. It was a Dementor, one of the guards of Azkaban. It's gone now. He was searching the train for Sirius Black. Well, why was it going after Harry? We thought maybe you were having a fit or something. And did either of you two pass out? No. I felt weird, though, that someone was screaming. A woman. No one was screaming, Harry. We're definitely set in a different mood mm. in, uh, in this movie than the other two, that's for sure. A little bit more scary than yeah. anything else. Also, they had to take... They have to take uh, carriages to Hogwarts or what? Well, here we are. At least he's going to be safe at Hogwarts, right? Well, he's got to right? be, right? Right? <laughs> he's, uh, he's, everything's got to be okay at Hogwarts. Potter! Oh, wait, what? Is it true you fainted? You actually <laughs> fainted. Shove off, Malfoy. No more slick back hair? No. Yeah, he doesn't look as menacing now. He doesn't look anywhere near as menacing without his hair slicked back. It's a new, um, it's a new Dumbledore's, too. Oh, it is? Yeah. I guess, yeah. 
I mean, they picked a guy who looked a lot like the last one, but you can tell from his voice this, oh, is, the, yeah. this is the new Dumbledore. Hogwarts will, until further notice, play host to the Dementors of Azkaban. Until such a time as Sirius Black is captured. Well, I don't want those guys at Hogwarts. No. Dementors are vicious creatures. Therefore, I must warn each and every one of you to give them no reason to harm you. Harry was just sitting on a bus mm -hmm. or a train. His voice just doesn't have that same, like, wisdom. Gravitas. As yeah. Here, listen. She just hey. let me in. <laughs> Fortuna Major. No, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> my boys. <laughs> major. It's all right. <laughs> Plebs. 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 Oh, my <laughs> That'd be fun to have like candy like that. <laughs> I was just, I was just <laughs> thinking the ex oh my god. I was literally just thinking that dun, 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 like Metallica star. Wow, are we a bunch of meatheads? <laughs> we literally at the same time all thought the exact same thing. Oh Metallica <laughs> kicking in. Wow, we are like on this unspoken wavelength here at Bad Medicine. Wow. <laughs> Art of reading tea leaves, so please think up of the person sitting opposite you. The truth lies buried like a sentence deep within a book, waiting to be read. Your aura is pulsing, dear. Are you in the beyond? I think you are. Sure. Look <laughs> up. Don't look to see. Oh, it's got sort of a wonky cross. That there could be the sun, and that's happiness. You're going to suffer, mm -hmm. but you're going to be happy about it. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh you have. Grim. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see nothing in there, guys. <laughs> the belt the belt again. Again. Ancient rooms on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? That's it. Come on, now. Come pull Hey, come on. What's he got to teach us? Come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you into the woods to be with a bunch of <laughs> this spiders. Guy, this guy again. <laughs> eh, don't worry. I'll send you to the woods. It's a good friend of mine. Would they clean up the dark woods a little bit? Well, it's it's day. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> it's day. It's daytime. Yeah. So that makes it better, I guess. Yeah. It's not so. foggy and dark. <laughs> Wait until my father hears that Dumbledore's got this oaf teaching classes. Shut up, Malfoy. <laughs> 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 Hold my satchel. Demental, demental. <laughs> da, 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 da. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, look Say at that. Buckbeat. Buckbeat. It's a horse and a hawk. Is it a griffin? Is that what that is? Hippogriff. Hippogriff. Hippogriffs. No. Who'd like to come and say hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malfoy, why don't you step well, when up? You, when you, you know, when you think about how the destruction that the beak of, like, an eagle can do, mm -hmm. now imagine, like, that except the size of a horse head. <laughs> Back off, Harry. Back off. Don't be shy. Mm, it's going to be a hard pass for me. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a first, huh? Yes. Well done. They let you ride him now. What? <laughs> what do you hang on to? No lessons, no nothing. <laughs> no We're just saddle? um just gonna go with it. Well, you said we'll get to that later. Why do I have an early feeling like this creature's ability to fly and carry Harry Potter is gonna come in? to some sort of play later on in the movie. Because uh, Harry's going to use him for Quidditch. At a yeah. dire, dire moment. Like, I'm already getting that vibe. Yeah. Like, like this Well, they're is... not going to introduce it without it having some sort of importance. Right. You know what this reminds me of? The uh, never-ending story luck dragon Just scene. 
say that. We're all looking. <laughs> we're all on the same like yeah. '80s wavelength here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or Titanic. <laughs> Never mind. It's Titanic vibes. I'm king of the world. Well done. Oh. Oh. It's killed me. It's killed me. It's just ripped his clothes a little bit. He's been sighted, he's been sighted. Who? Serious Black. He's already slipped past the months, hasn't he? Who was to say he won't do it again? It's like trying to catch smoke. I could do it. We want the smoke. Mmm, <laughs> that doesn't look good. No. That's not fun. <sighs> ridiculous! Ridiculous! This class is ridiculous. What really finishes a boggart is laughter. Uh, Neville, will you join me, please? <laughs> the other Neville. <laughs> this kid's definitely playing a bigger role already in the first few minutes of this movie than he has in the previous two. Yep. Here's what I want you to do. Can you do that? <laughs> yes. Wanda, at the ready? Oh, boy. Think, Neville, think. Ridiculous! <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of hat is that? How do you make a spider funny? Ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <that roller skates. laughs> oh, a cobra, no less. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> I was gonna say that. That's. I was gonna say that's worse. Okay, this isn't good. Ridiculous! That, uh, that's enough for today. Well, how did they think that one of the kids wasn't going to pick those creepy things to be something they're scared of? Well, the thing is, though, is he's the only one that saw it. Well, other than, you could say, Ronan. No permission form signed, no visiting the village. That's the rule, Potter. But, Professor, I thought if you signed it, then I could go. I can't. Only a parent or a guardian can sign. Since I am neither, it would be inappropriate. Well, that sucks. Well, yeah. I recognized you immediately. Not by your scar, by your eyes. Oh, that's creepy. By your mother, Lily's. Mother was there for me at a time when no one else was. All right. Overshare. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, he's probably glad to hear something positive about his parents. From there, his yeah, aunt, that uncle. is true. Yeah. Your father, James, on the other hand, he had a certain, shall we say, talent for trouble. Rumor has it he passed on to you. Yeah. But that's like part of the, I will say, part of the fun part of these movies is Harry Potter's, so he's, uh, you know, a ton of potential. It's the future of wizardry, but he eh, still gets in a little bit of trouble, yep. a little mischief. Hermione, you know, um, <laughs> yeah. offsets him a little bit. Yep. And then Weasley's just <laughs> bouncing around in the middle. No one is to enter this dormitory until it has been fully searched. The fat lady, she's gone. Oh. Whoa, she's look at that. It's not funny, Mark. Back to your common. The paintings are all freaking yeah. out. Oh, well, yeah, because one of their own got... Round up the ghosts. <laughs> no need for ghosts, Professor. The fat lady's there. Hey, mind where you're going! Slow down! I'm a boy. boy. <laughs> it's him, Hippos. The one they all talk about. He's here! Somewhere in the castle! Serious Black! <laughs> that is not good. No. no. Well, it's good to see Dumbledore taking a little bit more proactive role in this movie. Well, he has to now. They have literally a murderer in the castle yeah. and the school, and there's kids there. Sign of black, nor anywhere else in the country. I didn't really expect him to linger. Remarkable feat, don't you think? Oh, I just love hearing his voice. Good old Hans. Hans! Snape. Booby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite convinced the castle is safe. What about Potter? Should he be warned? Perhaps, but for now, let him sleep. I'm wide awake. <laughs> yeah, he's going to put him in a little spell here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to page 394. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. 
Which one of you can tell me the difference between an animagus and a werewolf? An animagus is a wizard who elects to turn into an animal. A werewolf has no choice. With each full moon, when he transforms, he no longer remembers who he is. He'd kill his best friend if he crossed his path. Furthermore, the werewolf only responds to the call of its own kind. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know-it-all? <laughs> whoa! 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 Two rolls of parchment on the werewolf, with particular emphasis on recognizing it. Sir, it's Quidditch tomorrow. Then I suggest you take extra care, Mr. Potter. Loss of limb will not excuse you. Page 394. Gosh, his delivery is I just, know. there's nothing like it. I know. He's so good. Gotta love that. Some, some Alan Rickman. Bad weather, wow. Yeah, this is interesting that it's like a kid's school and they'd be playing Quidditch and weather that's this bad. Yeah. You know? Okay. Mind the lightning. Normally with kids' sports, lightning is an automatic, like, 30-minute uh, break. Or not, just, not just kids, adult sports. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's my question. Um, at, at what point do they play the game and not worry about that thing? Or is there somebody always chasing that thing, trying yeah, to end the, the game? The two seekers are always after Always that. just after that, and everybody yep. else is playing the game. You can do I anything to the seekers. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh, it's freezing up. Uh oh, they're after him. I don't see why these guys got it in for Harry. Ugh. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, so the um, Silas Black is going to come for Harry, but these guys are after Harry, too. Seems like it. How are you feeling? It's got scratched up a little, too, huh? You gave us a right good scare there, mate. No one blames you, Harry. The Dementors aren't supposed to come inside the grounds. Dumbledore was furious. As soon as he saved you, he sent them straight off. When you fell... Oh, oh no! Broke. Sort of blew into the Whomping Willow and... Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear about your broomstick. Is there no chance of fixing it? No. Have you seen it? Well, he's got a pile of cash. He can go yeah. buy a new one. Oh, yeah, he's got a whole cave full of gold. He's yeah, got he plenty of money. You got plenty of money to get a new one, Potter. You can get the new one that... Uh, Yep, shit Malfoy has. <laughs> yeah, Malfoy's got the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. You have nothing to be ashamed of. Fair I point. need to know how to fight them. Why would he fight the? De That's the thing. Why does he need to fight a Dementor if yeah. they're if they're trying to get Black. so that so that it doesn't keep like doing that crap? Well, why are they going after him in the first place? Yeah, These are questions I need answered. Yeah, Dumbledore can just send him away anyhow. What's this rubbish? That there is the secret to our success. Your needs are greater than ours. The Marauders map. We own so much. This is Hogwarts. It's like secret passages. So you mean this map shows everyone? We'd recommend this, this one. The one-eyed witch passageway. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. Be best hurry. Filch is heading this way. When you're done, just give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise, anyone can read it. Boy, that invisibility cloak's really coming in handy. Bit grand for you, isn't it, Weaselby? Don't your family sleep in uh, one room? Boys, you know, this I guy... Time we teach Weaselby how to respect his superiors. <laughs> Hope you don't mean yourself. Filthy little mudblood. Uh, that's Buddy, though. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's gonna get him. <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Bloody hell, Harry. <laughs> Run, He's been under the cloak with him before. Yeah. We have a killer on the loose. Oh, Sirius Black in Hogsmeade. Harry Potter? Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. A on the Potter A. I say, no underage wizards allowed in today. Shut the damn door! Now, years ago, when Harry Potter's parents realized they were marked for death, do you remember? They went into hiding. Mm -hmm. Few knew where they were. One who did was Sirius Black. And he told you know who. He also killed 
one of their friends. Well, Peter Pettigrew tried to warn the Potters and might have managed to had he not. Uh oh. Serious oh. Black may not have put his hands to the Potters, but he's the reason they're dead. I don't believe it. Oh, that's not the worst of it. Well, Serious Black was and remains to this day Harry Potter's godfather. Oh, what? what? Harry, what happened? He was their friend! When he does, I'm gonna kill him. Now, the spell I'm going to try to teach you is called the Patronus Charm. In order for it to work, you need to think of a memory. Explore your past. Expecto Patronum. <laughs> you just keep thinking. Ah, ah, ah. No, that's the one, like, uh, like the, the, the spell casting phrase that was all over the internet for so long was that. Expecto <laughs> Patronum. Of course it was a meme. I don't even know if it was a meme. It's just like, that's what you said for Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum. Like, that's what I've been saying for years. Expecto Patronum. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, sit up. What just happened? Happened again. That was a boggart, Harry. A boggart. The real thing would be worse. Yeah. Much, much worse. As a matter of interest, what were you thinking? First time I rode a broom. Well, that's not good enough, not nearly good enough. Well, hey, I don't <laughs> think you know what my life was like before I came to this place, but... <laughs> Is it strong? Then let's give it a try. Expecto Patronum! There it is. There's the shield. There it is. <laughs> All right, got it on a second try. That's my guy. Solid work, Harry. Yes, sit down. Here, eat this. It helps. It really. Oh, he keeps he keeps needs chocolate. to have chocolate again. He needs to have chocolate again. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get weirded by the teacher. You think he's up to something? I think. Uh, your spider think, sense think, telling you that the teacher's uh, a little he crooked? He keeps giving him the chocolate. Yeah, he, he just slept on the train listening to the whole conversation. Yeah. So I don't know. He just... Oh. I may be wrong. The committee members took turns talking about why we were there. And then I got <laughs> off with my piece. Buckbeak was a good hypocrite. Always clean his feathers. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. What? What? Harry's not going to let that happen. No way. That's his buddy. Uh, look, right here. There's zero chance they're taking out Buckbeak over my dead body. <laughs> I don't care if this movie's from 2004. <laughs> it ain't happening. See wait a minute. Up to? He's spying wait on minute, people. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you see the name? Yeah. 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 That's Peter the Pettigrew. That's the professor. He's not alive. Or what they thought they said. They were just talking about in the cloak. Put Ooh. that light out. Sorry. Oh, they're going to meet here. Oh, this is getting intense. Look up. He's right on him. Yeah, he's right there. He's right in front of you, Harry. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Here comes Snape. Snape. <laughs> My dad didn't strut, and nor do I. Would appreciate it if you could lower your wand. Oh, wow. telling him out. Wow. Yes. Reveal your secret. Oh no, he's busted. And request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business. <laughs> Insolent. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lupin, out for a little walk. I have just now confiscated a rather curious artifact from Mr. Potter. Take a look, Lupin. It's supposed to be your area of expertise. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Zonko product. Nevertheless, I should investigate any hidden qualities it may possess. It is, after all, as you say, my area of expertise. Harry, would you come with me, please? That's <laughs> new. <laughs> I'm thinking you're right. Yeah, sir. Andrew, you picked up on something interesting. There's just some sort of vibe. You know what? It, you know what I'm getting. It's almost like the uh, the Scooby Doo vibe. Mm -hmm. We're like, it was you <laughs> all along. Quite frankly, I am astounded that you didn't hand it in. Did it never occur to you hmm. that this, in the hands of Sirius Black, is a map to you? Then again, hmm. if he's working with Black, he knows where Potter is all the time. Anyway. Then again, if but Black see, is in the castle, like, wouldn't, it wouldn't, listen, how hard would it be to find Potter? Listen to him right now, though, too. You to return to your dormitory and stay there. Professor, just so you know, I don't think that map always works. 
Earlier on, it showed someone in the castle. Someone I know to be dead. Oh, really? Who might that be? Peter Pettigrew. That's not possible. I sensed that you did not possess the proper spirit for the noble art of divination. No, you see, uh, uh, you may be young in years, but the heart that beats beneath your bosom is as shriveled as an old maid's. <laughs> Jesus! The pages of the books to which you so desperately cleave. <laughs> She's an old soul, is what she's trying to say. I guess. Not a very nice way to say it. Just relax and be a kid, is I think what she was trying to say. Mm -hmm. Set the black. Jesus, God. Oh, God. Come on. Gotcha. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, the crystal ball's talking through the teacher. Whoa. So sorry, dear boy. Did you say something? Nothing. Well, see you, Harry. What are all these creepy dudes doing at Hogwarts? Seriously. Just sharpening an axe. Executioner there? For what? I can't believe they're going to kill Buckbeat. It's just too Oh. Horrible. Oh. Buckbeat. Just That's got right. worse. You foul and loathe them evil little cockroach. He's not worth it. Oh, Malfoy is a little. God. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, someone got hit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Scabbers. Ah. You're alive. Closer eye, your pets, Ron. Ow! Hagrid. But who threw the rock? Oh, maybe it was Dumbledore warning him. Hagrid, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. Get that chain off his neck. Come on, Harry. I thought I just saw. Let's go. You can't just go. You gotta do something. What? Come on, it's not even sundown yet. What, you... what is this? No, H Harry's no. Harry's going to change it into like a popsicle or something. What? What? This is garbage, bro. But that didn't did not just really happen. <gasps> Bit me. What kind of trash this... is this? What? You do realize what tree this is? Run, run. Harry, I'm hiding, run. What's the wall? Oh, that's not good. No. We just had a lot of bad stuff happen. Here. Oh, make that three. Uh oh, where are your glasses, Harry? Oh. Not good. <laughs> I have a hunch. I just hope I'm wrong. I'm sorry, are we not going to acknowledge the hippogriff? Buckbeak? At Buck all? Beak. They didn't try nearly hard enough to save him. You're okay, dog. Now, the Where's Harry? He's a trap. He's a dog. He's an animagus. Oh, he's the werewolf. Oh, look, oh, there he is. Oh, it's you. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, maybe that's like what he wants, it, maybe. Well, well, serious. Looking rather ragged, aren't we? Oh, I knew they were in it together. Good call, answer. I trusted you. Well, that's he's what happened werewolf. to the Potter's parents. Yep. Come on, let's kill him! Wait! I did my waiting! You betrayed my parents. All the reason they're dead. No, Harry, it wasn't him. Somebody did betray your parents, but it was somebody who, until quite recently, I believed to be dead. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. Come out, come out and play! Hi, Holmes. I'd be the one to catch you. Saving the day again. I could do it, you know. Do I detect a flicker of fear? Severus, please. Expelli armor! What? What? The map was lying, then. The map never lies. Pettigrew's alive. 
What? Yours, rat! Cabs has been in my family for 12 years! Seriously, long life for a common garden rat! Oh, oh what? Show me. Give in to him, Ron. Scabbers! Leave him alone! Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> this guy! <That's> <laughs> I've seen this guy online. My old friend! <laughs> you sold James and Lily to Voldemort, didn't you? I didn't mean to! No idea the weapons he possesses. What you have done? I'm gonna die! Wait a while. This whole time. What, is what a plot twist. Yeah. This man. I know what he is. I said we'd take you to the castle. After that, the Dementors can have you. James suggested that I make the change permanent. The tail I could live with. But the fleas. Okay, so now we're saying, you know, he's a good guy. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, this what a is a plot twist. Holy cow. I was right about being wrong. You're wrong about being right? I, I don't know. You were right. He's up to something, but it's just. Not, uh, not uh, we, we don't thought. even know yet, do we? Yeah. No. I don't trust anybody at this point. <laughs> except, I, I except don't trust Snape. anybody. I'll never forget the first time I walked through those doors. It would be nice to do it again as a free man. Oh, so he went to Azkaban prison because of Pettigrew. He yeah. set him up. Him. All right. When you were born, James and Lily made me your godfather. I know. But if you ever wanted a different home, come and live with you. Harry! Full moon. Uh -oh. He doesn't know who friends or enemies are. Oh, oh no! Max Bales! Oh, he already got it. Oh no! 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 no. Professor Lupin. What? Well, who is this now? That's him. That's uh, what's his face? Silas. Oh, he changed too. That's right. Yeah, remember, they don't they don't care friend or foe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What, what what's your point you're trying to do here, Harry? <laughs> oh. He yeah. changed. Yeah, I remember he can change like kind of on command, I think, and then the other guy is because of the moon. Serious! Oh, oh, the spiders again. No, it's not spiders. Oh, it's the Dementors. Them. Harry's oh, gonna have there's to... only about thirty of them. <laughs> Harry's gonna have to take them on. Use his shield. There it is! <laughs> they can't come near him. Yeah, they can't get through. Harry's got it on lockdown. Uh, had it oh. on lockdown, apparently. Like, uh -oh. I, I'm really waiting for Harry to just really bring it together here. <sighs> this isn't good. Whoa, who's riding in on the deer or getting rid of him? <gasps> Not gonna show us who it is. What? Come on! Gosh, you think maybe it was his parents? I don't know. This movie's getting awfully heavy. It is all over the map. I saw my dad. He sent the Dementors away. Oh, they've captured Sirius. They're gonna kill him. They're going to suck out his soul. And Master, you've got to stop them. Sirius is innocent. It's Scabbers who did it. But I'm sorry to say the word of three 13 year old wizards will convince few others. <laughs> this has got a point. Sirius Black is in the topmost cell of the Dark Tower. You must not be seen. If you succeed tonight, more than one innocent life may be spared. Three turns should do it, I think. Once again, we talked about this in our in our preview. Like Dumbledore, just uh, got some real dangerous missions. Why don't you kids go out and do it? Tracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. That's how she was able to do it. 7.30. Where were we at 7.30? I don't know, going to Hagrid's? <gasps> oh, they're going to save him. they're going to save Buckbeak. Oh. Like we're more concerned about Buckbeak than anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't let your past self see your other self. Yeah, we, uh, we know how this works from Back to the Future Part 2. That's right. 
don't mess with the space-time continuum. Clearly something happened he wants us to change. Yeah, I can think of a few. But we're still alive. If we succeed, more than one innocent life could be spared. That's a big one. Oh, oh the they rock. were the one that threw the rocks. It all makes sense now. Ow. Now if they let him go when he's right there, he'll know that Haggard is inside and couldn't have done it. Yep. Oh, and that's what she thought she saw. Ah, he remembered. I would have totally forgot. I would have just ran up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Ricky. Here we are. Follow me. Oh, yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> and all the straw Then where is it? <laughs> He's trying to get the ferrets. <laughs> Your services are no longer required. He's like, I sharpened this thing all day. Yeah. I'm cutting something. Now what? We save Sirius. Down by the lake when I was with Sirius, I did see someone. That someone made the Dementors go away. With the Patronus? I heard Snape telling Dumbledore only a really powerful wizard could have conjured it. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's asking me to come and live with him. That's great. When we free him, I'll never have to go back to the Dursleys. Oh, oh remember that. What are you doing? Saving your life. <laughs> right now it's coming for us. You think that thing's not going to be able to smell you, Harry? Oh boy. oh boy. There it is. What did I tell you? Get out of here. Way to save the day. That was so scary. Oh, here they come. Uh oh. No, the worst thing possibly could be happening right now. <laughs> no one's coming. Don't worry, he will. He's dying. Expecto! Patronum! Come on! Oh, I thought that was There it is! There we go! There it is! Give me that little, little, little tease. Little, yeah. little bit of doubt. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I still think it looked like a deer when he first showed up. Yeah, though. like with the antlers and yeah. everything. It did look like a deer. Absolutely <laughs> did. Look at that. Hero stuff, Harry yeah. Potter. Expecto Patronum. Expecto. Effing <laughs> Now can we get some Metallica? <laughs> well, it should right now with him. Yeah. When I'm riding. It wasn't my dad I saw earlier. It was me. I knew I could do it this time. Well, I'd already done it. It's, that's like Bill and Ted's excellent <laughs> adventure. <laughs> my father! No! Oh, oh. I want to go with you. One day, perhaps. You're meant to be here. But you're innocent. Do you know it? Enough, that'll do. Well, talk about it's a lesson drop right there, and you yeah. know it, and that's what matters to him. Mm -hmm. It's cruel that I got to spend so much time with James and Lily, and you so little. The ones that love us never really leave us. That's true. Oh, when well, he gets they really to are the brightest well, yeah. of your age. They can't hang around Hogwarts. Yeah, neither one of them, yeah. Yeah, because if he got found, they'd execute him. Yep. Mm -hmm. What he did to Malfoy. He's free. We did it. Did what? So he doesn't know. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I've looked worse, believe me. I resign. It seems that somebody let slip the nature of my condition. You look so miserable, Harry. <laughs> None of it made any difference. Prince Harry, it made all the difference in the world. You saved an innocent man from a terrible fate. So now I'll say goodbye. Harry. You're sure we'll meet again sometime. Mischief managed. Skulls sitting up there on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of them. Uh, it was bad than rap. Uh, they made me do it. It's a firebolt. It's the fastest oh. room in the world. Whoa. Who sent it? No one knows. Chris came with it. <laughs> we know where that. Pull out its feathers. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's faster than Malfoy's mm -hmm. janky piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> the end. I solemnly swear that I'm uh, up to no good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All here right. we go. Number three. Boom. And it did wow. not disappoint. 
Number three. Uh, what was it? You kind of look up the list to try and rank them, and this ranked up there with one of the best of all the Harry Potters. And I gotta say, so far, I, I mean, I gotta say, I, I loved it. And I'm gonna listen to you guys for a little bit first. Yeah, I mean, this was definitely the best one we've seen so far, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much hands down. Uh, boy, they got us so many times <laughs> in this one with the fake outs. And I did not expect or see coming the Back to the Future playing with yep. time and going back and dodging yourself and being in the right place at the right time that's that's always makes for a good story because it does a lot with you know tension and things like that um you talked about it on the last uh reaction we had about how there's definitely got to be stuff missing from the books because i can see where there was a lot of detail kind of mid through the midway through the movie that might have been skipped over a little bit or missed out on or a little bit thin in the story where i'm sure the books went into huge detail on that but overall outstanding uh definitely had a little bit better message i think than the first two or at least more uplifting i yeah, felt well. anyway with some of it hitting him with rocks <laughs> <laughs> but uh is that the theme of this movie <laughs> See, so far? Hit someone with a rock yeah, and every single one? Seems like it is, but it definitely feels like we're really building a huge world with these movies so far. And I can see where uh, later on, you know, as we know, there's seven, eight, maybe even nine now movies uh, in this universe. We're doing a lot of world building here. And the story uh, with Harry's parents, that's definitely going to probably come back and this one was was excellent, so I really liked it. I'd give this one, um, you know, for the the universe of Harry Potter, for me, this is definitely uh, probably four and a half out of five answers wow, okay. for me for the world of Harry Potter. Absolutely. This has definitely been my favorite of the three so far. I mean, hands down, not even close. Yeah. So, again, you guys heard me say for the first two movies, I felt like I understood why they were popular kids' movies. I thought they taught good lessons. I just couldn't get into them, you know. So I'm not going to say that I didn't enjoy the first two, but they just, they just didn't really do it for me. This one, I felt myself definitely getting more invested in the storyline. Oh, yes. I was more entertained. <laughs> um, you know, I'm a big animal person, so even though it's even though you know it's a movie and it's a, a mythological creature, I'm like, whoa, hey, wait Damn. a minute. And because, so just a, a short, short, short background for you guys. I do work with the Humane Association here where we live. And sometimes you see stories of where an animal will just be an animal and, uh, you know, idiots cause the animals, you know, with dog bites or something like that and the dog is the one that gets in trouble when it's just people being idiots and assholes um and so like that resonated hard for me because it instantly was like oh well they're gonna you know they're gonna put down this hippogriffin because of an asshole kid like so that that really struck a note with me and you know and i i had this belief like okay it is still a kids movie still is a family movie they're gonna find some way of of working this out you know they didn't you know, they didn't show, you know, it, it happening, but they showed the ax coming down. I'm like, come on, what? <laughs> and of course, I didn't, you know, I didn't foresee that there was going to be a, a time travel component. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, what? what? What just happened here? Um, I thought it was very well done with the twists and turns of the plot. You know, at first, like, okay, that professor's good. Uh, answer over here is like, eh, I'm sensing something funky. Then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, he's right. He's not who we thought, <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> oh, but oh, he's a werewolf, <laughs> ah, but he's still good, you know. And it's like, it's like um, I was playing Quidditch. Yeah, the the Silas Black, you know, just being this menacing character throughout the whole movie, turning out to be the good guy, and it's Harry's godfather, and I mean, just a lot of really fun twists and turns. Of course, the one thing that I really liked about this movie, and that I'm really starting to like, three movies in great lessons. Yeah, you know, and I, even at the end, Harry talks about how he felt like he failed. And uh, he didn't. The truth was known. And even Silas Black says, you know what? As long as you know the truth and you know in your heart that, you know, as your godfather, I'm not the one who, um, you, know, uh, you know, took part in your parents' demise. Like, as long as you know that, then that matters to him. And that's like another one of those, like, I think really important lessons is that if the people that matter to you know the truth, then sometimes it doesn't matter who knows. It's like, the, the, yeah. you know, there's, there's certain people that matter. And I just thought that was a really, a really solid lesson. And each movie, I think, has done an increasingly better job 
of teaching these stories and lessons. And I, I, I will say about the books, I'm guessing when you read the books, you pick up on these a little bit more than just in the movies. But we see so many movies out there just for entertainment purposes or whatever. So it's nice to see a movie that's as entertaining as this was, but also teaches really good lessons. Um, so for me, as far as the rating scale, I think I was at like a three and a half or a 3.75 yep. on the previous ones. I'm gonna bump this one up to a solid four. Um, now I have high expectations for, for future ones. This was a Over fun board. movie for me. It was better. And look, a four, talking four out of five <laughs> answers. That's pretty solid. And now, like for the first time, I, I got to tell you guys before I was, we were coming over tonight to do this. I'm like, I got to do another, <laughs> crank it through another Potter movie. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's go. But now I'm actually, I'm excited for there the next go. one, okay. even though like this one got rated the highest, like you said, the story is building, they're aging, they're getting a little bit older. Um, we have a lot more background information now as we move forward with the other movies. So, God, I don't think I'd catch myself saying it. Here we go. I am excited for the next Harry Potter yeah, there movie. We go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Well, as, as we saw with their age, I think it reflected, as they're getting older, it's reflecting the tone of the movies. They're getting a little bit more mature. I mean, yeah, right at the beginning, they had the hokey little, you know, bus and the, the aunt who was a total B word, you know, get huge. She started <laughs> floating. floating that was window. great. I mean, it still had those elements of comedy, but I think as the movie went on, the tone got a little bit more and more mature. And then you saw how they did the interesting callbacks where we were always wondering about Emma Watson, like, where, yeah, how did she, she get there? Like, and you're like, has she even been in the movie? Well, yeah, she kind of has been though <laughs> this whole time. And so it's interesting that they did the callback to that, yes. And then obviously, yes, the twists and turns and all yeah. around. The one gripe I had is if they're gonna play Quidditch, they're all wizards. They could just turn the weather off and make it nice and sunny <laughs> again. Make a dome. But you I think? think they might have did that purposely to make it a tougher game of Quidditch. But then you did see how Harry finally overcomes what's going on. I didn't like the Professor Lupin from the start. Obviously, Alan Rickman again <laughs> comes oh, through in the clutch. Oh, so solid. Bobby. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, obviously, I'm going to echo the same score as you, a four and a half. I'm really looking forward to where this goes from here. Because, yeah, I mean, if they didn't hook you on the first one and you know, you just stuck around for the second one like you, yeah. the third one is there. Got got we got you. We got you. We got you. Yeah. So I loved it. Any other closing comments, fellas? Yeah, I just think the last thing I want to say is I know, you know, throughout the reaction, we've probably been saying, when is Dumbledore going to get involved? When is this guy going to get involved? And <laughs> it's like, so and it's like, I just got to keep reminding myself that maybe what they're doing is letting our young wizards kind of learn themselves and take on the challenges and do that sort of thing. And maybe he's just kind of on the sidelines, like, all right, things get out of really out of tr out of hand i'll step in but we'll let them figure this one out and let them grow and become who they have to be so yeah. and then i remember when they're waiting behind the pumpkin pet when they first initially come out of haggards and you know before they do the whole time loop you do see the double door though is like wasting time yeah look at those <laughs> like he's doing, he all, the strawberries. He's doing yeah. all this stuff so he knew he, he's doing yeah. all this stuff especially like you know, he is freaking. I love it. It's yeah. just because he wants them to learn the lessons themselves. Yep. He's like, I'm not going to teach you. I'm going to let you learn it. You know what just hit me? Uh -oh. As Quinn was explaining this, maybe this movie, maybe these movies are every bit as much of a lesson for the parents watching the movies I as the kids. Could easily be. Who's taking their? Who? You know, look, if you're a 12 or 13 year old kid going to these movies, or even younger, which I think a lot of people mm -hmm. were, you know, seven, eight year olds, parents are taking these kids to the movies, and it just like it literally just clicked as you were saying that, you know, because we, we, you know, I'm I'm a new parent, and you know, and Quinn's got children, and you know, keep our fingers crossed that you know, that Andrew, I don't know, man, I don't know if the world's ready for another answer, but um, but you know, willing and able. And, and Quinn, I'm sure you've experienced this, you know, as as kids age. It's like it's your it's your just nature to protect your kids and to help them make the right decisions but at some point they just have to learn to make those decisions for themselves and the term helicopter parent gets thrown around where yeah. you're, you're always making the decisions for your kids you never allow them to make their own decisions you're always protecting them you always have them in the bubble and you know when they get out there in the real world if you're not there to do that for them and you haven't allowed them to make those decisions and a lot of times those decisions comes with your bumps and your bruises and your errors 
Um, I think that's exactly what Dumbledore is doing. And we, you're right. We have been complete, like step in, step yeah, in, step something. in. And then you think of it like a parent and a teacher, like, okay, yep. I'll step in if it gets real bad, but even some negative stuff and some bumps and bruises have to happen. And that's like I said, it's just where it clicked. Is this a movie for kids to teach them lessons about the right things to do? Or is this maybe a movie like telling parents, be like Dumbledore, let your kids explore, let them learn, let them take their bumps and bruises along the way, because at the end of the day, you have to let them make their right decisions. So like a whole new, like we're just peeling back, yeah. peeling, peeling back, back the these layers, layers of, of, of how deep these movies are. And oh God, you're going gonna, gonna to get me to say like, you know, like I, I had mentioned in our last um, wrap up, like this is something that really makes me want to read these books. And now after, I think like after this one, it's like, okay, now I'm going to go back and read the book even more. I want to see what other lessons the book has that we didn't catch in the movie. And um, again, really looking forward to the next one. And now going into the next one, keeping in the back of my mind that theme, like could Dumbledore step in? Could the professor step in? Even Snape, like... Uh, like you know, you feel like he's like the, in in that role a little bit, but he he wants to be like, oh, don't do it. It's a stupid move, kid. Stupid move, yep. kid. But uh, but, it's yet, but yet he is smart. Where else? And he just out of the blue teaches him about werewolves and stuff. Just out of the blue. Uh, yeah. They're, they're not no even on this page so, yet. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that the the, the writer of obviously the writer of the book. Um, J.K. Rowling, but then the, the the people behind the movies are doing a phenomenal job with with these stories and lessons learned. So, and I'm I'm glad you brought that up because I wouldn't have you know wouldn't have clicked uh, immediately. But again, really really solid movie. A lot of good lessons, not just for the kids, but I think also for parents. So, well, so then there you have it. So for the Appleton Oak, Mason Quinn, I am of course the answer. Good night, pals. Good night, Mr. Rickman. 